Welcome to Berdeen and congratulations on taking this grand step to reclaim your time and eradicate manual work and stay in your flow. In this tutorial, you will learn the fundamentals of Berdeen, how to get the most out of the tool. We'll cover what Berdeen is and how it works, how to get started with pre-built automations, how to build your own autobox and even contextual automations like the scraper. This is a quick getting started video to get you set up and going with Berdeen, but you can check out the more detailed tutorials about each feature on our website. So what is Berdeen exactly? And how is it different from every other automation tool out there? Well, Berdeen allows you to participate in your automation. For example, you can create a task in Asana and send notifications to the right person without switching tabs or copy pasting links. Berdeen is a browser extension that works where you do. So just launch Berdeen with a shortcut, option B, and click on the automation. Then provide any inputs it might need and run it. This is it, this simple. So unlike other automation tools out there, Berdeen gives you the flexibility and customization in your automations. You can trigger automations manually, provide input, and even use information from the currently open page. More about that in a second. So this allows you to automate processes that could only be done manually before. Let's change that forever and help you to tap into your automation superpowers. Getting started. Berdeen is always just a shortcut away. You can launch it on any website by clicking on the extension icon or with a shortcut, option B. Pin the extension to access it faster. When you launch Berdeen, you will see two tabs, Explore and Playbooks. In the Explore tab, you will find pre-built automations from our catalog. They're ready to use, so just click on one you like. These automations are curated based on the web page that you're currently on. For example, if you launch Berdeen from zoom forward slash recording, you will see the relevant playbook for that specific page, such as upload zoom recording to Google Drive. Go to the expanded view inside the extension window to browse through more playbooks from different categories and apps. The same automation catalog is on our website. It has additional details, templates to duplicate, use cases, and video tutorials just like this one. Pause this video and explore the catalog. It has tons of awesome automations for the most common workflows on your computer. Build your own automation. All right, now it's time to build your own automation for your unique workflow. We've put automations into two categories, Playbooks and Autobooks. Playbooks are the automations that you launch manually, and Autobooks are the automations that get triggered automatically when something happens in one of your apps. Both Playbooks and Autobooks are created inside the builder. To open the builder, click on the big Create Playbook button. The builder window will open. Here we have a canvas where all of the actions will go, and the sidebar with apps and actions to select. To take a little step back, every workflow is just a sequence of actions with different apps. So when building our playbook, let's think about every individual action in our workflow and put it on the canvas. Let's go ahead and build a playbook that creates a Jira issue and sends a Slack notification. Feel free to substitute the apps with your own tool stack. So the first action is to create Jira issue. So let's go ahead and find Jira issue on the side panel and connect it. Now let's find the Jira action we need. So create Jira issue. Here we need to configure the first action argument. Almost all actions need additional information to run. In our case, we can't create a Jira issue without defining the project, the title, and the issue type. So let's pick our project, Berdeen test. Now there is the issue title. The title will be different every time we run this playbook. So select ask me every time from the dropdown. Then we have the issue type. Let's pick task, assign to myself, and click on done. That's our first action configured. Let's move on to the next action in our playbook sending a Slack message. Click on the plus icon, new action. Let's find Slack and send Slack message action. From here, let's configure the action. We want to send the message to the demo channel and the message should send the issue title and the link from the previous action. 
Here in the drop down, we have information from our previous action. Let's pick Jira and click on summary. Now we want to add the link. Type comma to add an additional argument and select URL. That's it, that's our playbook. But before we save it though, we can hover over the first action and click on show output. This way we can see the task link after we run this playbook. Okay, now let's go ahead and save the playbook. Let's give our playbook a name, create Jira issue with Slack and save it. So now we can close the builder and see this playbook highlighted. Let's click on it, create the Jira issue title, getting started video, and click on run. This is it. This issue was created and the Slack message notification was sent. Here you can open the issue to check it out. Nice. If you want to edit the playbook or add new commands, you can just open Bardeen, click on the drop down menu next to the playbook and open it in the builder. Make your changes and save it. Autobooks. Autobooks run automatically with a trigger. They run automatically without you having to click on them. There are two types of triggers, scheduled and when something happens. Both you can find in the builder. The schedule trigger fires on the schedule. So to configure this trigger, set up the following variables. Starting date, frequency, day of the week, and when to stop. The second trigger type fires when something happens in one of your apps. You can browse through the triggers for your favorite apps and configure them similar to how we did it just earlier with actions. After you save your Altabook, it will show up in the My Automations tab. Click here to enable it. And after the Altabook is triggered, you can see trigger history over here. Contextual actions. Finally, what makes Bardeen really special is our contextual actions. They will help you do things faster and without any copy pasting. Here are just a few examples. The scraper can extract data from any website. Want to copy information from the LinkedIn profile page to Google Sheets? No problem, it takes just one click. The open link action can launch the next meeting one minute before it starts entirely automatically. You can also create custom notifications, track website changes, and do so much more. Learn more about contextual automations below in the article. And this is it. Have fun automating and saving your time and focus. If you have any questions or need help, join us in our user community on Slack. I'll leave you a link to it below. See you in the next video.